total consecration to Jesus through Mary. The Ninth Day A reading from The Imitation of Christ, Book 1, Chapter 13 Fire tries iron, and temptation a just man. We often know not what we are able to do, but temptations discover what we are. Still, we must watch, especially in the beginning of temptation, for then the enemy is more easily overcome, if he be not suffered to enter the door of the mind, but is withstood upon the threshold the very moment he knocks. Whence a certain one has said, Resist beginnings, all too late the cure. When ills have gathered strength by long delay, first there comes from the mind a simple thought, then a strong imagination, afterwards delight, and the evil motion and consent. And so, little by little, the fiend does gain entrance when he is not resisted in the beginning. The longer anyone has been slothful in resisting, so much the weaker he becomes daily in himself, and the enemy so much the stronger in him. Some suffer grievous temptations in the beginning of their conversion, others in the end, and others are troubled nearly their whole life. Some are very lightly tempted, according to the wisdom and the equity of the ordinance of God, who weighs man's conditions and merits, and preordaineth all things for the salvation of his elect. We must not, therefore, despair when we are tempted, but the more fervently pray to God to help us in every tribulation, who, of a truth, according to the sayings of St. Paul, will make such issue with the temptation that we are able to sustain it. Let us then humble our souls under the hand of God in every temptation and tribulation. For the humble in spirit he will save and exalt. In temptation and tribulation it is proved what progress man has made and there also is great merit and virtue is made more manifest. Veni Creator Come, O Creator Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O font of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own, the promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Kindle our senses from above, and make our hearts o'erflow with love, with patience firm, and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread, and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not, with thee for guide, turn from the path of life aside. O oh, may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know and thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal spirit blessed. All glory while the ages run, be to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, the same to thee, O Holy Spirit, eternally. Amen. Ave Maris Stella. Hail, bright star of ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest, taking that sweet Ave which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eva's name. Break the captive's fetters, light on blindness pour, 
All our ills expelling, every bliss implore. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us, thy infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, mildest of the mild, freed from guilt, preserve us pure and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy for evermore. Through the highest heaven, to the Almighty Three, Father, Son, and Spirit, one same glory be. Amen. The Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, because he hath regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he that is mighty has done great things to me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is from generation to generations to them that fear him. He hath showed might in his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath received Israel, his servant, being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed for ever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.